Hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise video. Today we're going to be breaking down what Wyvern Riding is, how it works and how to effectively add this new ability to your hunting tactics. Wyvern Riding is a new technique developed by the Camera Village Hunters using iron bind silk to puppeteer large monsters. This powerful addition to your arsenal takes a bit of preparation and has a few nuances. So let's break it down. Now before you can ride any monster, you will have to bring it down to a susceptible condition where you can latch on Ironbind Silk and take command. This is called a mountable state. You listen to me now! You can secure a mount by dealing enough damage with wirebug jumping attacks, using silk bind moves, letting monsters wear each other down in battle, or even using certain endemic life. Once you've taken the reins, you can control the monster in a variety of ways. You can freely roam around the map by holding R and moving the left stick. You can also have the monster dish out light or heavy attacks by pressing X or A. And even perform evasive maneuvers with the B button. In a pinch, you can also perform an emergency evade, but that will cost you one wire bug gauge. However, emergency evading right before an incoming attack will fill your wire and riding gauge. We're going to talk more about this gauge later. If you're looking to deal some serious damage to the monster you're currently riding, you can press the Y button to launch it forward and dismount. See ya. This will topple the monster if it hits an obstacle or another monster. Proficient hunters can even chain together you multiple to launches by pressing the B button right as the collision happens. This will cost wire bugs, so proceed with caution. Bye bye. This is for my fellow hunter. Now, you can't ride a monster forever. The Wyvern Riding Timer will tell you how much time you have left on your current mount. Landed attacks on other monsters will recoup some of that time spent, but if your mount gets hit, you'll lose a good chunk of time. The big gauge on the centre of the screen is known as the Wyvern Riding Gauge. Attack other monsters and perfectly evade incoming moves to fill this gauge. Once filled, you'll be able to perform a Mounted Punisher by pressing X and A together. The window for you to execute that command is small, but the payoff is huge. After a mounted Punisher, you'll automatically dismount the monster. Each monster has its own unique attacks available when mounted. Whether you're looking to topple your targets or dish out devastating damage to another monster, the Wyvern Riding technique has you covered with plenty of options. When you're out on the hunt, keep a lookout for other monsters nearby as they can help you turn the tides of battle. We hope you enjoyed this brief overview of the basics of Wyvern Riding. We hope you'll take this knowledge and develop it even further when you get your hands on Monster Hunter Rise, which arrives on Nintendo Switch March 26, 2021. That'll do for now.